Yo, what's up, y'all? 313 here, man, back in the building, man. You know, I just, uh, just want to, uh, you know, uh, relay my thoughts on, you know, what, what didn't transpire that shouldn't that tr should have transpired. My question is, why the hell Carl Will still here? I mean, that, that's my number one question. Why is Caldwell still here? I mean, what's going on, Martha Ford? Are you that afraid to make a change? Are you that afraid to make a mid-season firing? I mean, you was up in arms about Lombardi. But the real problem is still Caldwell. I mean, you had eight games to see. That he is not the man to lead my one pride riders. I mean, it, it was quite evident that the defense carried the team last year. And I said as much last year. I mean, it, it, the evidence was, was all through the Cowboy game when Stafford had the ball in his hand. You mean to tell me that you couldn't out-scheme that Cowboys defense? I mean, which had injuries themselves. You mean to tell me that you and Stafford couldn't come up with a game plan against Skandrick and, and, and Barry Church? You know, and the rest of them boys. Which led to a colossal playoff loss last year. And then all of a sudden, to see that offensive line, particularly the right side, um, not have changes made there. I mean, Martha Ford, did you not see all this transpire in front of you? I mean, did you not see this coming? Really? I mean, you you got eight games of it. You got eight games of film. You got eight games of proof. That Caldwell is not the man to lead us. My big question is, why is he still on this roster? Why is he still on the sidelines? It's really beyond me. Okay? Fire him. Give Terrell Austin eight games, even though I'm pissed with him too at that BS over there in London. Give him eight games and see what happens. Why is Mayhew still here? Martha Ford, if you don't fire Caldwell, I'm not buying any merch until Caldwell is gone. Well, I might do it anyway for the love of my team, not you. It's it, it just... And then, what's even more painful... Is I read a damn article. And the headline reads. Calvin Johnson does not want to be traded. I mean I'm sitting there shaking my head. I'm like Calvin Johnson. I love you bro. But I don't trust Martha Ford. All she's going to do. Is use you as a figurehead. To make more money. I mean. It, it really. It really pains me from the bottom of my heart. Calvin Johnson, I love you as a player. I love what you did for Honolulu Blue, man. But you got to go win a ring somewhere else. Even if, if it's with them damn Packers. I mean, much as I hate them bastards, I mean, you got Aaron Rodgers. You got Tom Brady coming back next year. I mean, you got Drew Brees, you know, may come back another year. I mean, the play with Andrew Luck, you telling me you're going to give up on that? The truth is, Calvin Johnson, we're not going to do shit with you. We're just not. I don't trust Martha Ford to really help you in your career with a ring. I just don't. Go elsewhere, Calvin Johnson. You're making a colossal mistake. 
You all, you're making a colossal mistake by staying here, convinced that Martha Ford is going to help get you a ring, let alone a, a couple playoff wins. I don't trust Martha Ford around you. Get out of her sight before it's too late, bro. And, you know, my wishes, you know, um, for the rest of the season. I would like to see Hugh Jackson as a potential head coach. You know, maybe the linebackers coach of the Carolina Panthers. I mean, I don't know who his name is at the moment. But those are the two guys that, you know, I want to look at as head coach material, uh, particularly Hugh Jackson. I mean, look at what he's doing with Andy Dalton. I mean, he got that boy playing on fire. I mean, he's going to be the sole reason that A.J. Green goes back to the Pro Bowl. I mean, look at what he's doing with uh, Bernard and Jeremy Hill. And they got an offensive line to boot. <sighs> but, you know... I'm just here to say on this video, I don't trust Martha Ford by not firing Caldwell and, and Mayhew. They should be gone. And the fact that Calvin Johnson said he doesn't want to be traded and want to try to win something here, I'm like, bro, you're making a big-ass mistake. You're making a big-ass mistake, man. You got to go win a ring. I don't want you to end up like Barry Sanders, Okay. Martha Ford, the Fords did him real fucking dirty, okay? I don't want the Martha Ford to do the same to you, man. All she gonna do is milk you for more money, dog. As far as the Pistons go, man, um, I knew they was gonna start losing. You know, I mean, the Pacers always get the Pistons problems. Uh, so... I'm going to continue to see how this uh, season goes. You know, I still got them pegged down as an eighth, uh, eighth seed playoff team. And because um, we got the talent to do it, you know. Um, and shout out to Drummond by uh, almost pulling damn near 30 rebounds on them. 30 rebounds, man. Congratulations. I mean, uh, we got to keep this guy around. We have to. I mean, if we're going to make a commitment to Reggie Jackson, why not the same to uh, Drummond? I mean, we got, a hell, we got a hell of a young developing team here. So I'm going to see what happens with that. You know, but um, you know, I just wanted to, you know, come out and, and relay my thoughts on, you know, half of the season. And I don't give a fuck about you NFC North trolls. Fuck y'all. I'm going to say what the fuck I want to say about my team. But I just got to keep it real. I don't trust Martha Ford with Calvin Johnson. I don't. All she's going to do is milk your ass for more money, dog. I mean, I'm just keeping it real with you. So that's all I'm going to say on this front, man. It's your motherfucking boy. One pride rider. 313 hit, man. It's just with Martha Ford, I don't see much changing. The fact that, you know, Mayhew and Cole are still in his fucking sidelines in front office. I mean, that tells you everything you need to know about Mark the Ford right there. And that's all I'm going to say in this fucking front, man. I'm out this piece, man. It's still one prior rise for life, bitch.